we're going to show you how to remove a sash and also the SFI balance that's in this particular single hung window. First, lock your locks and like any tilt window, raise your sash several inches as not to damage the bottom corners of the sash or the sill. Retract your tilt latches, rotate your sash into 90 degrees and then with this particular balance it's a rack rack in sash so you're going to want to rack the sash back out so what that means is you hold one side firmly and on the opposite side you want to raise up the sash until the pivot bar disengages the cam swing the sash out slightly lower down and release the other side the reason for that is the pivot bar has interconnecting hooks that connect with the cam that's in the balance. Now to further explain why you have to rack the sash out, pivot bar has a hook on the end, the cam has a pocket. When the sash is tilted inward, the cam is rotated in this orientation. As you can see, there's no direct way to drop this sash in. So you have to rack it into the cam, into the opening of the cam. Now before I show you how to remove this SFI constant force balance, I want to explain to you how the spring is fastened to the jam. Unlike other balances, the spring end will be attached to a mounting block that would be visible in the jam. This spring terminates into a slot. These windows will have up to three slots in them depending on how heavy the, the window is. The spring has a hook configuration with a lance in it. The spring is hooked into this slot. And you can see how it's, how it's fast. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to remove the, the balance. Grab your cam tool insert it into the cam opening and you want to rotate to release the brake now once the brake is released this is under spring tension so you want to guide it all the way up now the carrier to remove the carrier it has a flexible head on the end it serves two purposes one is to maintain the carrier inside the jam and also to stop dirt and debris from entering the balance pocket. So with your needle nose pliers, if you look here, you can see that there's little tab, little finger tabs. Grab your needle nose pliers, rotate that inward and hold the one side out. Do the same on the opposite side until you release the carrier out of the pocket. Now take the carrier and you're going to slide it all the way down to the sill. There is a balance cutout down there. So now you can release the carrier out of the pocket. There will be up to three springs depending on the weight of the sash. This particular window has two springs in it. So how to release these out of their slots. Lower the lower one down several inches and hold it in place. Lower the upper one down several inches and it'll release under its own inertia. Do the same with the lower one. Slide them down to the bottom. And now you can, you can rotate these out of that cutout. This balance only has three items. You have a carrier that can hold one, two, or three springs. And you have two different spring loads. One, one of the springs is silver in color, that's a light load, and the other one is bronze, and that's a standard load spring. Now how to reinstall this? Take your springs, lay them down into the bottom of the sill in this orientation. Now slide them up, and as you're sliding the spring up, the 
spring is in this orientation, the end of the tab, you want to drag against the interior wall. That way there you'll be able to locate the slots that are formed into this jam. There's one slot, the lower, second slot, third slot. If you're doing multiple springs, you don't want to engage the upper, upper spring until the end. So it won't interfere with installing the lower spring. So we'll do the same here, drag it up, one slot, two slots. Take your needle nose pliers, grab the spring, and rotate it inward until the spring is fastened. Do the same with the upper one. Now take your carrier and you want to insert it into the opening down at the bottom of the sill here. Raise the carrier up and locate. You always want to occupy, if you're using one spring, it always occupies the upper slot in the jam and also the upper pocket. So with the flexible end here, what you want to do, squeeze the end and snap it over. Now take your cam tool, engage the cam, and now you're under spring load, so you want to make sure you firmly grasp the carrier. You want to slide it down, and you want to orient the orientation between the left side and the right side, since it's a rack and system. This, this side should be about halfway past the opposite side. That'll just make it easier for you to wrap the sash in. Take your sash. As you can see, the hooks of the pivot bar are facing downward. Engage this cam. Swing the opposite side up. Rotate it over. Engage that cam and lower this back down to your perpendicular. Now rotate the sash back in. And now the, the balance is reinstalled. This video, the glass has, the windows have no glass in it, just so it's uh, easier to see the balance components as we demonstrated.